configure your Google Voice account so that your calls ring directly to voicemail. They go straight to voicemail. You'll never hear this phone ringing. No one will answer it. It will just go directly to voicemail every time. So let's log into your Google Voice account and go to the Settings tab. Under the Phones tab, you want to make sure that neither one of these boxes or any other cell phones or phones that you have listed here have this box checked. You want to make sure that they are unchecked in this. Under the Voicemail and Text, this is quite important because if you're sending them straight to voicemail, you want to make sure that the voicemail greeting has a detailed message that's going to ask your callers to give you as much information as you think you can get out of a voicemail. So you don't want them to hang up without giving you some information, at least that they have a house for sale and they're interested in having a call back. So you want to make sure that you have a greeting in your voicemail and text tab. When you first open your Google voicemail account, it's going to have this option. It's going to say system standard. And if you click on the play button, you'll be able to hear the standard greeting that your callers will hear. You don't want to leave it as the standard greeting. That's not going to get any information collected from your callers. So you want to record a new greeting. Now we'll call this one Bandit Sign Leads. And you want to check the box, make this your default greeting for callers. Then you have two options. You can Now Google Voice is going to call you to record the greeting instead of you calling them. They're asking you, where do you want us to call? If you select Google Talk, then it will call your computer. You do have the option, if you're logged into your Gmail account, not your Google Voice, they are different. If you're logged into your Gmail account, you actually have the capability of making and receiving phone calls with your Google Voice number. So if you select Google Talk, it will call your computer and as long as you have a microphone enabled, you can record your greeting through your computer. Make sure that your Gmail account is open, not Google Voice. I mean, you can have them both open, but you definitely want Gmail open in a separate tab or window. Or you can choose to have your mobile device called. And if you choose that, it will call the number that's listed under your phones tab and it will prompt you to record your voicemail greeting at that time. You'll have the ability to listen to your greeting, make sure you like it, and confirm it once you have one that you like. So if you click on connect, it's going to call your cell phone number that's listed, and you may hear mine ringing. That's my Google Voice number calling me, trying to get me to record a vo voicemail greeting. And then you can play the message and listen to it. You can re-record it. You can even record several different messages and you know choose whichever one. You can test different messages to see what you can get out of the seller. But you want to say at least... Um, your name and maybe say um, if you're calling about selling your house then leave me your name the property address and a phone number where I can reach you and that way you've captured some initial information you can research what's going on before you call them back and at least you know be able to talk about the property you don't really need to record uh, this recorded name you can if you want to but uh, you know I don't usually do that, but you can. It's just like um, you're you're trying to reach Tracy, and it'll whatever you put in there. That's what they'll hear. Um, and then this voicemail notification asks you what you want them to do with the message once they leave a voicemail. And you can have them email the message to you. Make sure that this box right here is checked. That they email the voicemail to you 
when someone leaves you a message and you definitely want that because time is of the essence when you get a seller call. Now, if you don't want to receive text messages on the phone, but you do want them to be emailed to you, you can check this box. And if for some reason the seller decides to text you, it will email you that information. You can even reply to a text message via your email account. You don't have to log into Google Voice or be on your cell phone to reply to a text message. You can do it through email. And then the voicemail pin. If you create a pin, you can call your Google Voicemail through your telephone. Just call your Google Voice number to check your uh, any voicemails you might have. You will need a pin, so you want to set that up here. And, and again, to check your voicemail, you just call your Google Voice number from your cell phone, whichever phone you have listed on your account, and it will connect you into your system. And then if you check this voicemail transcripts, it will transcribe them in your email. Instead of being a audio file, it will be text. So they don't always get the words right. So, you know, you can kind of play with that and see if you like the transcription of voicemails. If not, you can always log into your Google Voice account and listen to the message as an uh, audio. Okay. Um, very important here, if you do not want phone calls coming to you, this is the most essential part, is just check this box, do not disturb, right here. Enable, do not disturb. This will send all of your calls directly to your voicemail, which will not be your cell phone voicemail. If you select this option, it's going to go straight to your Google voicemail system, which is why you need to make sure you have the greeting recorded in the voicemail greeting, because that's the message that they're going to hear if you enable do not disturb. Very important. If you leave this box checked, the calls will never ring to anywhere. It will go straight to voicemail all the time. So if you change your mind and you want to come in and answer the phone calls or send them to an answering service, make sure you uncheck Enable Do Not Disturb. You can even set this to end in a certain number of hours, minutes, or days. You know, if you want to say, oh, I'm not going to take the calls for the next 30 days, then you just Enable Do Not Disturb and end it in 30 days. It will automatically turn off Enable Do Not Disturb and default to the settings that you have listed here. So if you want them after 30 days to go to your mobile phone, then you select this box. As long as you have Enable Do Not Disturb checked, then after it ends, it's going to go back to the default. If you don't put an end date in, it's going to be on Do Not Disturb until you manually come into your Google Voice account and uncheck this box. So that is all you need to know about configuring your Google Voicemail to go straight to voicemail. Most important thing, again, to reiterate, enable Do Not Disturb and make sure you have a good voicemail greeting recorded and in your account, make sure you listen to it and it sounds good, it's clear, and you're asking the seller for basic information about their property. This is Tracy Kaywood, the Property Mob, makers of badass investors.